Scales of Justice is about the protagonist, Nathan Noble, and his first year practicing law. Throughout the episodes, Noble, with the aid of his friends and colleagues he meets, learns about the law and how managerial techniques and concepts can aid him in his journey. While there are managers that wish to help him, there are others who will not. At the series finale, it is revealed that guilt has been stealing evidence used throughout the series, which leaves Noble in an ethical dilemma when dealing with his mentor and role model. Noble decides to use the law and managerial techniques he's learned in each episode to finally deliver justice to guilt. Nathan Noble is the newest member of the Scales of Justice law firm, and while ambitious and hardworking, he has a lot to learn from his new team and about the law. Noble is generally an outgoing person but gets very nervous in new and tense situations. This leads to many mistakes being made. But with strong management and managerial tactics to aid him, Noble aims to always do what's right and uphold the law to the highest regards during his journey. Stacy Starks is the head of record keeping for the firm and prides herself on order, preciseness, and punctuality. Essentially, when a record needs finding, Starks is the one for the job. Starks also practices quality managerial techniques and serves to help Noble on his journey into the law. Jennifer Justice is the lead prosecutor and a management figure to all the new lawyers entering the firm. She has a kind heart and a strong sense of justice, which is what eventually led her to a career in law. Justice frequently exemplifies the qualities that one would expect from a manager, including strong ethics, great decision-making, and great planning strategies before each case. Wolf is a no-name detective looking to make it famous by assisting in high-end cases. The firm that employs him the most is the Scales of Justice law firm. Specifically, his services are used by guilt the most. While good-natured on the outside, he is an enemy of the truth and serves to dismantle any positive management at Scales of Justice. Gerwin Gilt is the leader and founder of the Scales of Justice law firm. Gerwin holds an undefeated record, winning all 399 cases he's prosecuted. Renowned by his peers and idolized by his staff, including Noble, Gerwin is practically the perfect boss and perfect prosecutor. While seemingly infallible, guilt has a dark side, which twists the laws and managerial techniques to its own liking. Episode 1, A Sudden Sentence, shows how Green Noble is when he forgets a crucial piece of evidence for his first trial. Noble panics and has essentially given up. Jennifer, seeking to solve this problem, steps into the role of effective leader and helps Noble win his first case. This episode demonstrates the steps needed in the rational decision-making model. Jennifer uses this method of management to walk Noble through the seven steps needed to make the most rational decision to achieve the best possible results. In episode four, Tipping the Scales of Justice, Justice confronts Guilt about the stealing of other lawyers' evidence. Guilt shows no remorse and continues to fabricate and steal evidence in order to maintain his undefeated court streak and his position as the top lawyer in the company. This episode demonstrates the concept of competitive advantage. In stealing evidence, Guilt maintains his advantage over even his own teammates. Guilt's actions follow the four criteria needed to satisfy the concept of competitive advantage which is displayed in his actions in the episode. Conclusions on management. Management is something that everyone faces at one point or another. Learning and mastering these skills now will make an applicant in any field more marketable and lead to better job prospects. The skills demonstrated in the text and practiced through project participation are applicable to real-world scenarios. This application can be seen most notably through individual reflections on material. Management skills translate well into leadership, 
but also into developing strong teamwork fundamentals. This project is a perfect example of this, requiring strong teamwork with management skills on a weekly basis. Finally, management is about building strong relationships and being knowledgeable for yourself and your team. Recommendations for future students. Communication is key to success. Contact your group members earlier rather than later. Meeting twice a week achieves clarity for the team and make sure the team is on task and working at an efficient rate. Plan for future assignments. Those who fail to plan, plan to fail. Find and utilize your tools early. For example, this group had a conference call line set up, a Google Docs document set up for collaboration on one document, and Beyond for animation of episodes. Effective tools lead to effective results. Don't negate reading the text. This text will assist you on literally every aspect of this project, as well as the final exam. Finally, take note of comments on assignments and try to implement them in your final presentation. These comments are meant to guide your group to a more polished final product.